and I'm back. This time with another user request. Uh, Call K O L. Uh, I believe this is a E T F, the Vanek Vectors Call E T F. Try to build on Arca. All right, so let's get uh, down to it and uh, see what happened uh, a little while back. I like to zoom sometimes. Uh, imagine myself if I was back in those days and just practice uh, my art of identifying patterns and seeing where we're at with that. All right, so right now we seem to have some uh, support on this line on the 29.30 level. Some resistance here that seems to have been drawn out at the 51 level. The closer the patterns are to the breakout, the more I give value to that. If I had a choice between a larger pattern with giving me a further target and a smaller one, I would probably take uh, the closest uh, uh, formation and use that as a launching target. Not that the other val the other target's not valid, but it's always more probable to reach a closer target than it is to reach a further target. Uh, just a reminder, these are monthly candles, so that's a lot of time, a lot of noise, a lot of intraday, intra-weekly, intra-everything that uh, disappears within these candles. And I have my concept I call noise, is these, uh, these wicks that are outside the resistance line. Well, this is noise that could have been a, a playable breakout on the weekly or daily that might have reached your target. And uh, but on the monthly, uh, I just uh, I use that to uh, filter out all that noise in those whipsaws. I play a lot, lot, lot less uh, trades than I used to, and I just um, wait and uh, practice my patience very hard. So that's why you need hobbies and uh, whatnots there to keep you occupied. All right, so this could have been also maybe here, some support for that more intermediate pattern. And let's see what we're, what's happening with that. And that's already back in 2012. All right, so now we had a breakdown here. Let's just add that target that further away target, which would probably give you a nice risk to reward. You enter here, 2048, put your sell stop here on top, 31, $32. That's your risk and your gain is, uh, oh, over here, your gain is here. So that would have been a target, wow, all the way to $7.50. I'll drop my line here. It could have been even. What I don't like too much is it hasn't been tested the bottom of this line in the recently. I would have liked to have some uh, some test here before validating that as a um, as a launching pattern within the the bigger target. So I might maybe it's just me right now. I'm not looking at this correctly. Uh, might be biased for X reason. Very hard to understand what's happening in my brain sometimes. And I just continue drawing lines, see if something makes sense. There I have some bearish divergence. Price action goes lower. Lower lows, lower lows. No, no uh, bullish divergence there. All right, I think maybe we're ready to go. See um, how that panned out. And one, two, three, four, six months. Oh, if I wouldn't have put my sell stops, I could have probably panicked. That is a long time to be in the trade. Did we get the timing wrong? Um, or that's just the sideways moves that uh, that happened there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, and that's like over a year you're in a trade. You're expecting this uh, further away target. And you're just not getting there. Is there something here that I could have uh, better identified? Uh, not many. One, two, three, yeah, four months pattern. 
what I just don't like about it is um, whatever target that would give me, I'd it'd run me through the that resistance at the 2930 area. So I could have probably not played that knowing that I would have probably ran into uh, some congest congestion here slowing me down to my advance. It's all right. There's uh, multiple patterns. Maybe on the weekly, this could have been playable. But right now, on the monthly, I, the only one is this huge top pattern here that I have. All right, let's move on. And one year, two years, three years. Wow, that's a slow ride down. And yeah, the target was reached about here. So one, two, three. That's a three, three and a half hold for that move. That is very long. Usually, uh, the better the formation, the tighter it is, the longer it is. When it breaks down, it really reaches fast. All right. So that's that brings us down to uh, 2016. And now this could maybe be a bottom. What do we have here? Moving back up. Is this my support? Is this my resistance? Sorry. Yeah, the 19 level, 20 level seems to be some resistance right there. This could be our bottom uh, bottom off formation. Very tight range, slowly creeping up. And are we today? Yeah, that's uh, that brings us to today. Let me just condense that a little bit. Whew. Oops. Sorry about that. And right now, I would really like to see some uh, testing here of that 20 uh, resistance line before uh, jotting out. I give more confidence to those moves which have a tighter, uh, nicer uh, construction than these far and wide from the resistance line. And that target would give me a target of 35. But again, uh, make, that's making me go through this uh, 30 target. Might not be uh, the correct read. And um, I would probably not want to play that, that move here, that big move. I could probably say, OK, it's a valid target. Uh, the implied measure move would be here, but I would put my cell stop, I would estimate that my cell stop would be right here. And maybe eventually get out there and see if ever there's uh, another um, consolidation sideways move here around that congestion line. At least you're out. You don't know how long for three, four, five months could be consolidating. And then you could probably play the continuation move to uh, further up, maybe eventually all the way to uh, previous size around the 50 level. Remove that, and do we have yeah, some? And here, right here. So you have an ascending ch channel for the past one, two, two years, and uh, sometimes the um, slanted uh, trend lines. They are resistance. They are support. But yeah, I give them less value. I don't try. I try not to play those breakouts. I just accept that they're there. There's going to be some resistance. And but I wait for a pattern, a consolidation pattern that's going to happen around this area here, and play that one off to the breakout. Not immediately play a candle that would go through. Go through. I would want a pattern here, uh, a sideways move, which uh, solidifies the consolidation and absorbs whatever resistance there's left at that line before spinning out. And that's about it. Do I have some, uh, well, too early now, so it's not in breakout mode, not in, on the monthly. And our site keeps going up, no uh, divergence here. What do I have here? This is pretty far off here from this high. Higher highs, higher highs, so no divergence there. Just wait and see, make sure this, uh, wait for it to, to go through the 20, and after that you could probably, 
maybe because that's it charge morph it's hard to imagine sometimes but uh, you could have a few candles come up here could go back down to 12 and finally you end up with uh, you end up here with a rectangle which uh, would give you a move you have to wait for those charts sometimes to mature and uh, this is probably the move that I could imagine happening eventually maybe around here okay. hitting there around the 2750 area and eventually maybe uh, go up to 30 but right now this is just uh, me using my imagination we really need more uh, candles for me to be able to uh, to play that way Moving average is uh, starting to go up. Definitely bullish, but uh, there might be some congestion here. And at this stage, I'd wait until there's a there's a more defined pattern that comes out here. And whatever the target I take, I would I wouldn't force it past 30 right now. This is I used to have targets that are far off. I'll probably go with examples later on. But uh, on my blog site, I have examples where um, there's a, I call it the wall consideration. If we have two minutes, I could probably go to it right now. And uh, hold on, sorry about that. All right, here we go. So here on my, my badcharts.com and I always forget where I wrote this. So consider consider there we go and yeah wall consideration so I have a few um, blog entries where I demonstrate wall consideration this one was for I think uh, USD Singapore dollar and I had a target my initial target was up here at 142 and um, sorry Backing out, okay, 142 is my target, but my revised target is actually right under here. This is a support turn resistance, and right under here where it's a wall. So it increased my probabilities of uh, reaching that possible target. And instead of, see how I changed that line here? Finally, I had misdrawn. This is a more valid pattern. This is the actual height to bottom that I should have used instead of using that top or upper line here where there's a lot of white space here which should, it's I'm imagining the resistance here but it's not hasn't been as tested as much hence less uh, value than here for a plus plus setups greed probably you know the, the original time your subconscious you're saying ah oh, this is huge target but uh, always give more value to what's closer in time and as the further you go away the less value and it has to be tight and tight and clean or else it's just your imagination and not the actual price action that you're reading. And that's it. So if I would have stayed on my original target, you see at that long wick, there you go. That's price being absorbed right there, here in the swell. Whew. Got sucked back in, never reached that target. And if I would, then here's the image with the, the, the better drawn pattern with that target under the wall, support and resistance or resistance support. And bam, you're there. You got triggered out, and whew, the exhaustion candle right there through all that resistance, and you're out. So you don't. Uh, and then, whoa, look at that. The next month, bang, went down. And then you would have been in a world of pain, just like you would have wasted, not wasted, but one, two, three, would have been five, six months in a trade and probably triggered out e eventually. Or have to wait, and uh, then that just plays with your mind. It's a uh, hard practice there. So that is my wall consideration. Um, I'm just going to go back to the to the chart and that's it for got to be careful for that for the uh, for walls and uh, this could probably be a wall that I would uh, definitely take into consideration for taking this uh, this chart pattern with uh, all this white space all right thanks hope that helps and See you soon. Bye-bye.